Joe Budden is more pathetic than I thought, and I came to this realization when I went back and listened to the old Joe Budden. See, there was a time where Joe Budden was the most important, most impactful voice in black media, and that's because Joe Budden was out here parroting this idea and narrative that he was fighting for black creators. Creators, because I'm not talking to everyone. Everyone will not understand what Joe fights for. Joe Budden was an absolute renegade at this point, and he'll make it clear that his fight was for creators, and he was going to war with the power structure for creators. And that made Joe Budden the most trustworthy voice in black media because he was the only one willing to go against the grain and go against the power structure. Joe Budden added to his cachet when he made it really clear to Diddy and other people in a position of power who he got somewhat of relationship with that he doesn't care what their relationship is, that he's going to critique them and tell the truth about them because the fans deserve it. My job is vastly on the Puff. Again, like I said to Steve Stout, if Puff was still out here practicing some of those same business habits, I would kill him. And let me tell the audience that privately and in confidence, him and I have spoken and he applauds that I come in here and say whatever the f I want to say regarding him. He don't hold me to that. I'm respectful, but I tell the truth. You think he loved what I had to say when that May shit was going on? Mm. He didn't. But guess what? It's my job to talk to the people. I don't run and fucking hide when the topic comes. I'm going to tell you what I think. And hopefully the people that love me and respect me know that I'm doing my job and it's nothing personal. The renegade Joe Budden will poke his chest out and let Diddy know and others know that it doesn't matter what relationship he has with them. If a scandal comes out, if a story comes out, his only loyalty is to his fans and to the people. And he owes it to them to give his honest opinion. And if they don't like it, well, so be it. Because his loyalty is to his audience. And Joe Budden would detest and go off at the idea that any man would think that he would hold his words for them. Rest of you niggas that think my character ever changes around any man. Y'all got Joe real I mean, Joe, I'm one of the last me, ones. I'm one of the last that don't. Joe Budden would pride himself on being the last of a dying breed of honest, unbiased, and unfiltered media personalities who don't care about industry relationships. His only loyalty was to his fans. But then uh, somewhere down the line, something changed. And something changed after Diddy put Joe Budden on a private plane and wine and dined him. One building that was going to allow me to be passionate and not run the risk of being fired daily. So the ink is dry. We finally signed everything. Yes. First of all, Joe, how you feel? I'm excited about what we're about to do. I want to help people to understand our culture you got to address the state of things and who guards the culture, uh, who preserves the culture. Those of us that are a part of it, those of us that love it, or because I love it, we're going to do State of the Culture. So make sure you check out Joe's new show, State of the Culture. It's not just another show. It's a show that's going to elevate the culture. I didn't, I didn't come here for play play. No, I came here because I got a job to do and we dedicated. We're going to get the work. Yeah. After this meeting with Diddy, Joe Budden's philosophy switched up. Joe Budden was no longer a renegade who didn't care about industry relationships. Joe Budden is now a man, a corporate man, a, a, a company man who cares about nothing but his industry relationship. And that became evident when Diddy was embroiled in some controversy. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs bringing some serious claims against the music mogul brought by his former longtime girlfriend. Accuses Sean Diddy Combs, with whom she had a years-long relationship, of beating and raping her. Ventura filed her suit, which seeks unspecified damages, yesterday in federal district court in Manhattan. Joe Budden, who was once chastising the industry folks who dare ask them to mince his words and not give his real opinion to his audience, is now chastising his audience and fans and listeners of his podcast for asking him to give his real opinion on one of his industry friends. Pod should be out before 8 p.m. tonight on Patreon. I had to do a little bit of editing. 
because y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me to be the only voice out there saying some shit. I've been here Travis Scott about this and Travis Scott. I've been trying to respect the gospel clean version of this podcast. But I be wondering this too at home. The fans echo some of that stupid shit. Yeah, you have you have a relationship with Puff. You're known to skirt certain things when it comes to Puff. But that's the reason. But nigga, it's people that signed the Puff that got a podcast. So if you want somebody to talk about Puff and you think somebody gonna pull punches or not say nothing, go talk to them first. That's not that. Again, back to podcasters keeping some of their thoughts private and just like not having to share everything. I don't feel like I need to come in here and have word vomit about my discernment when it comes to some of the evil shit that goes on in the industry. Now the fans are stupid for asking Joe to come on his podcast and give his honest opinion about a very trending situation with Diddy. Now Joe Budden, the last of the dying breed, is asking the fans to go to other podcasters if they want opinions on Diddy. And when Joe gives backlash for not speaking on Diddy, the once Joe Budden, the last of the dying breed, the man who was appalled that any industry dude could dare ask him to mince his words, the one who poked out his chest and poked his hands in everybody's chest like, bruh, don't you ever ask me to mince my words. That Joe Budden? Well, he came on his podcast and confessed that he was afraid of Diddy. So tell us why you did it. Because you wanted to. Now you're about to explain... Oh, man. Well, I did it for legal reasons. One, I did it for a myriad of reasons. But first and foremost, the legal portion, which is, yeah, nah, y'all ain't about to clip clip me up or clip us up or clip this set up and just attach it to whatever story and narrative you want to attach it to. His first excuse makes no sense. He's afraid of getting sued. So Diddy is going to sue you for talking about his lawsuit? And he's not going <laughs> to fight back against Cassie, who is telling people he did this? Joe Budden is going to sue you out of every media personality and TV station talking about this. Now, his next excuse is he's afraid that if everything Cassie said Puffy did in terms of blowing up Kid Cudi's car and pulling up on Shook Knights with the AR and the AK-47s, if Puffy did that, then he's terrified of Puffy and he don't want to speak on Puffy because Puffy might come and harm him. Two, what if that nigga did all that shit he's accused of? Like in the rumors. That sounds like a headache. Why would I want to inherit that? <laughs> what if he did some of that shit? Like the violent stuff. What the headache would that, I don't understand. Uh -oh. Because if he's Cause gonna do that to Kid Cudi, <laughs> if some of that is true, then why would you want to inherit that? Sound like a headache. Don't sound like the risk is worth the reward there to me. This is sad, bro. To see where Joe Budden started, to see where he is right now, is really sad. And this is the second time we got reminded in the last 60 days that Joe Budden is now a sellout. Y'all remember when Cardi B put the order in for Joe Budden not to release his Tasha K interview and Joe Budden obliged and wasted Tasha K's time? <laughs> yeah. Now, Joe Budden is not going to speak on Diddy, and he's going to give a thousand and one excuse, even though just a short time ago, his entire philosophy was different. It's sad to see Joe Budden go from being a renegade who spoke for the people who spoke for us to now hip-hop media's biggest sellout. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think, man? I personally lost all respect for Joe Budden today. Now, if you're still watching, click on this video here somewhere on my screen to find out how things just got a whole lot worse for Diddy after this new update. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.